Hey guys, welcome back to Life on the Eddy Family Farm. It is super early and that's one reason that I don't have the mics again, but um, it's not too windy actually. And it was kind of windy the other day when I used them or didn't use them and it seemed to work fine. So I'm going to speak a little bit louder so you can hear me, but um, we're going to the water park. That's why I'm up so early. Everybody else is off um, sleeping and it's dark in the house so i didn't want to turn on lights looking for the mics so um the girls are actually inside sleeping the boys are actually with papa and nana because we're going to be going to the water park with them and um, it's it's going to be a blast but um i want to start out over here because we have this water trough that we got a few days ago and we didn't really need it just yet. Um, we did need another one just because we have some that are broken and um, we've been wanting to get rid of those. You can like only fill them up like halfway because it's got to crack down halfway. And then um, we also wanted extra ones so we can have one in every pen so we can just drain them. We don't have to actually, or we can keep them up, I guess, but we don't have to actually move water troughs every single time we move the goats. So that's what I'm going to do. I moved the goats the other day and I just ended up leaving that fence open um, so they can actually have the water from the first water trough. So they should be getting kind of low now. Um, I told Layton not to open it up um, or not to fill it up completely just because we are going to, I'm going to shut that off and give them another water. So we're going to start off taking this down there and watering it and then we're going to come back. We'll hang around the goats for a little bit. We'll come back and see the chickens and uh, May try to see where Bushwhacker and Showtime are. And I think the donkeys are all in the goat pen now. Whew, excuse me. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to start off doing. So... And it's a little dirty because it's just been kind of sitting here for a couple of days. So we'll rinse all that out and I will hook. I think the water hose actually is hooked up because we watered the garden. So um, that'll help out a lot. We'll just have to come back down here. It's easier when there's two people just because you can have one person down here and you can holler, hey, turn the water on. But. Um, <coughs> Oh, she's gonna stop. I was hoping she wasn't gonna stop. That is this peacock or peahen right here. The white one. I know they're all right here, but this white one, I love that noise. It's pretty cool. She gets even scarier, her voice. Like it sounds like an actual alarm. I wish they would get closer. We are feeding them. Um, the same time we feed all the chickens over here when you've seen all the chickens kind of warm up to everybody or run up to everybody. Um, but they're still a little bit skittish and um, hopefully we can get them where they're not so skittish. But I think peacocks and peahens are kind of like llamas it just takes a little bit longer to warm up to them i don't know here comes the wind of course man i hope it stops or i may have to go inside and find those mics but all right i'm gonna put this back down you can probably hear thunder and lightning in the background um it's that was the thunder right there um it was kind of rolling but um it's further like east i think or that's what it sounds like and i did check the radar because i don't want to rain out our water park day and it doesn't show to rain anywhere up there that doesn't mean it's not going to i mean they can be wrong just like we can make mistakes so hopefully it doesn't um if it does maybe we can still swim in the rain Hopefully there's no lighting. I don't know. All right. 
So I gotta put y'all guys down so I can throw this in here. I also have some, I think there's three watermelons that are just bad in the back of the side that I'm going to throw out to some of the chickens. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to throw them on the outside or throw them on the inside of the pen. Um, the ones on the inside don't get as much attention, so I may just go ahead and throw them in there. But like I said, I only have three, and we have one, two, three, four, five pens. So I don't know. I, can, I know I can half them, but they're really small. So we'll, we'll see when we get to that point. But for right now, we are going to take this up there, get it situated, and then come turn the water on. Um, then we'll make our way back down this way. It is a beautiful day right now, though. It's supposed to get up really, really hot, like 103 but the heat index is supposed to be a lot hotter than that. So um, it's gonna be a good day to be in the water. Tomorrow is gonna be 104 and it's already showing excessive heat um, for tomorrow and today. So that just kind of shows you right there how hot it's actually gonna be. So first off, we have to turn the water or turn the electric off because I do not want to get shocked. What is it? Hot. Got that turned off. Would y'all like some water? You can see right here though, it's about, probably about a third, um, a third w with water. That's what I kind of had Leighton do. Hey, what y'all doing? All right, let's get y'all's water. That's only like half of y'all because there should be a lot more goops over here. Hopefully they didn't get out. Hopefully they're... I think they're over on that side, so really I should have went and got some feed. But once I go and get um, hook up the water hose and stuff, I'll actually do that. I'll get some feed and try to get them over on this side because I want everything to be over here. The hardest part I've noticed here lately is the dogs. They either love being over there or they just love not listening to me. But trying to get them from point A to point B it's kind of rough, even with dog food and everything, but maybe, maybe it'll work. So, anyways, I'm gonna grab these. And since the water's already on this side, I'm gonna go ahead and just probably leave it right there where we did it before. Hey guys. Would y'all like some water? Or at least a water trough? Um, I think it might be easier to clean without the water. Because it's like sand. But there's no way to hold it up. No, I'm just going to use water. <laughs> That's a lot. So I'm going to throw it over and I'll be right back. Alright, I want it to kind of be level, but I'll probably, I'll work on it being level when I get back up here to put water in it, because it looks level to me, but so did that barn when we was first putting it up, <laughs> and so did this house patio area, because the house pad, I didn't think they had to bring so much screening on this side, but they did, they had to bring a lot, um, but I'll leave that there. I'll push it a little bit farther away from there. Um, and I'm gonna go turn the water on. And then if I have to, I, I got some sticks back here that I can throw underneath it. So let's go turn the water on. 
Before I actually turn the water on, I'm going to grab some feed. But um, some feed for the goats though, because I know that they are going to um, maybe not want to come to me without feed. So there's this. I can make that sound loud, I guess. We'll get snacks, we won't get feed. Now let's try to get out here without the chickens attacking me. Look at them all. I'm gonna come back and feed y'all. Hey, don't get my toes. All right. Woo, woo. All right, y'all stay back. I gotta back up before they come get me. That's one thing I figured out that we got to we got to kind of slow roll around this area because anytime side to side or even if we walk up here they come super super fast so um, it's almost scary but let's get back here so we made it back I'm going to go ahead and wash this out so I may end up getting a lot of goats just by washing it out. I'm gonna put the feed bucket right here. Maybe I can get them by calling from right here. If not, actually, I don't want it to get wet. Let's put it right there. If not, it'll be all right. Well, the water should be coming out already. Um, I don't know why it is. I may have to go see if it's a kink or something. But it does take a long time because it comes all the way up this hill. All right, there it comes. So I'm going to hop in and try to clean it out real fast. So I brought a brush and then left it over there. going to try to fill it up and kind of see where or what kind of sticks or whatever I need to put in here. Let's see. Looks like that side needs to be lifted a little bit. Well, not a whole lot, so maybe... I 
this out before it gets too heavy. It's not horrible, but I do want it to be pretty level. I don't want it to be where they can't get their heads in it. That's decent. Um, I think. I think the best we're going to get right there. So we'll go ahead and fill this up. And then while we're filling that up, we're going to try to get these goats over here. I gotta go down to the end. Okay, so that didn't work because they came straight to this edge on that side. I think it may be trying to rain. Um, so I'm gonna have to walk down and then we will, hopefully I can get some video of that, but if not, it's because the goats went crazy on me and they wouldn't come, so. Stay with me. Take her away. Now I wish I would have just did half a book get a feed. It would have been a lot lighter. Because I'll probably have to throw some of this down. Yeah, come on. Come on. Fingers. Oh, I'm sorry. Come on, Toby. You gonna come with us this time? Dixie. Look at them all coming. All right, come on, girls. Come on. That's awesome. There, Toby figured it out. Yeah, the goats figured it out. All right, nope, don't, don't come after me. Don't jump on me. Don't, Toby, get them. Tell them, don't jump. All right, they're this close, I'm gonna knock some out. All right, I threw a bunch. I forgot there's actually some feed in here, not only all of that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lock this up because I'm pretty sure that's all the goats. It still doesn't look like all the goats, does it? But um, the donkeys are just gonna take a little bit longer. Come here, Tub. Come here, Toby. Come. Good boy, that's a good boy. So we at least got Toby and little Ann. All right. Dixie is always our dog that she likes it where she is. It doesn't matter where she is, but she likes it. So um, for now, what I'm actually gonna do until I have a little bit of help that wake up, meaning Brandon or the girls. Um, I'm gonna leave the donkeys in here and Dixie in here, and I'm gonna go ahead and fill up that water trough just so that they have a full um, water trough of water. And I'm going to look around for a second and see if there's any more goats somewhere. That just doesn't look like all the goats. I'm pretty positive it's not all the goats. So either they are over this hill right back here or they got out and they're maybe up by the front gate because that's usually where they go. So anyways, I'm gonna close this up and then we'll get back up there. Hopefully they don't follow me with the feed. Hey, y'all stay back. Most of them still over there, but I still have some stragglers behind me. <laughs> Get this on the other side 
and then I'm gonna walk around real fast and just kind of go check the ponies and donkeys. Really, I want to see if there's any goats on that side. And then um, we'll get back down there with the chickens. What are y'all doing? Y'all need to follow me. It's getting really dark back that way. That's where the lightning and everything's coming from. Probably the wind too. All right, my water trough's overflowing. I'm gonna change it to the other one. All right. Put it in that one. I'm gonna let that one fill up. And while that one's filling up, I'm just gonna walk on this side. I don't see any more goats. What in the world? Dixie, did you not wanna come with us? Huh? Everybody's over on that side. See the ponies, the donkeys, everybody's doing good right there. There's Juliet. I was like, Juliet's not over there. And then Princess Layla is right here. Hi, sis. You didn't come over there with us. Hi. Once Brandon and the kiddos get up, um, I'm going to have them help me right here. So. I don't know if that one's going to be on video or not, um, depending on what time they get up and stuff, but I'm going to get them over there. But for now, um, I'm going to finish filling this up, then I'm going to plug it up, and then I'll meet y'all down there by the chickens. Got the water off, now I'm going to go grab some more chicken feed to feed these guys. Hey now, y'all watch out, y'all watch out. Look at them coming from everywhere. Alright. Hey, hey, hey. Get away from my feet. I gotta get the big one. Now that I got them fed and um, off my toes, we're gonna go see if we can get some watermelon to the ones in the pens. I'm gonna I'm gonna drive this back there just because the watermelon is actually back in here, and then maybe the chickens will stay up here. And these are all ones that are busted or they were ate through or something's wrong with them. And I know the chickens back there, the ones on the outside, love them because we bust some of them for them. So, okay. Open this up. Some. 
Look at them. <laughs> Don't fight each other now. Get share. Oh, they really like it. So, I'm just going to do a few pins today and then Brandon actually said he was going to pick some more of the bad ones, um, well, this evening. And um, I'll tell him, make sure he keeps me a couple for these inside pins, or at least he can throw some. I'll tell him which ones I don't feed. So, I'll probably do the Jubilees. Um, and then I'm also going to do, obviously, mine. So I'll have him do the two middle pins, um, the blues and the other chocolates. And, um, because I can't, I got to do my favorite one, Jack. Right? All right, here's another one. All right, guys, you got to tell me how good these are. Go ahead and undo it. Can you back up, please? No, you can't come out. I said back up. All right. Here, I'm going to throw it. I want it to bust all the way. Let's see if I can bust it again. Excuse me. All right, go. Maybe that. It does smell really good. It's just for some reason they were not doing good. Is that good? Is that good? You got it all to yourself. Look, do you not want any? Oh, there we go. Now we got three of them at it. <laughs> you must be something like Brandon. Brandon's a watermelon lover too. Don't be scared of the camera. Look, she's like, I'm taking this one away from y'all and eating it. So we got one more. Like I said, I'm going to do um, my pin over there. Look, that hen right there on the outside is just as big as them, just about. And that was one of those babies at one point or another. That's crazy. So we've been locking these extra good here lately because for some reason the wind, the wind is getting them and opening them up. That's what we're thinking because, I mean, it could be the kids, I guess, but I don't think it is because the kids, we've been here long enough that they know not to come over here and we haven't had any extra kiddos here so i think it's the wind has just been horrible it, it's i'll show you this pin down here and it is it's like caved in because of the wind Ew. this one's super super gross look but they'll still eat it they still like it This one right here, you can see the, right here, it kind of goes in and out. So it's just bad. Well, I made a mistake. 
just like I was kind of talking about earlier, people or weathermen can make mistakes. Well, I made a mistake. I left the door open to go get this watermelon and my hands went out. So what I'm going to do, I think the best thing to do, actually, I'm gonna go ahead and let the rooster out as well. I don't know. No, I'm not. I'm, I was gonna say I'm gonna let the rooster out and um, let them come back in because at nighttime they'll roost back in here. They'll come right back in if I leave that door open. But um, I don't think I'm gonna do that. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to leave it shut and then this evening they will actually come and roost around here. They'll probably lay right next to the rooster um, on the outside. So I'm gonna do that and then I will catch them back. I hate that I did that, but now I gotta figure out, do I wanna give this rooster my, this watermelon by himself or do I wanna change the pin? So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go, go ahead and change pins and I'm gonna give it to one of the other pins and then once we get some more, we'll have the chicken or the hens back in here and we can actually give them a full one or give them all a full one. I'm sorry, Roosty. I'm sorry. That was my mistake. I'm very sorry. I'm so mad at myself because I get on to the kids. Don't leave the doors open. Don't leave the doors open. And look at me. I'm leaving doors open. But they escaped on me. Um, I didn't expect them to escape. I expected them to stay in here. But what can you do? So actually one is right here. So before I actually wait for night time, let's try to get them to come back in here. Man, I'm so mad at myself. I can't believe they would want to escape. They just have the life. Can't believe it. Um, I think I'm gonna do these blues. So, here. Oh, my God, I don't like All right, I'm not going to leave this door open. So they really like it as well. I guess I'll wait till this evening because I didn't want to have to do that, but what are you going to do? Um, we could try to catch them with the net, but it's really easy to just wait for night time and, um, They'll be, they'll be laying right there. And we may have the net, net then, but if not, we can just kind of herd them inside the pen. I'll have Brandon out there with me, so. Anyways, that pretty much wraps this up. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up, turn notification bell on, and subscribe. God bless.